The future of the Greystone Bridge is up in the air tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. The bridge, which connects North Providence and Johnston, has been closed to traffic for four years. Demolition plans were previously put in place, but some residents are pushing for the bridge to be rebuilt after traffic backups on Route 44. Lauren Brill joins us now with details on what was discussed at that special meeting tonight. Lauren. Well, the mayor of Johnston tells me that this small bridge that connects North Providence to Johnston is set to be demolished despite his request to rebuild the structure and reopen the road to traffic. Local leaders from North Providence, Johnston and Smithfield gathering Wednesday afternoon with one goal in mind to get the bridge rebuilt. That's the ultimate goal that we have, and for some reason it's not happening. Chris Gossetti is a Johnston resident leading the push to fix the Greystone Sluiceway Bridge. He tells me the project was listed under former Governor Gina Raimondo's 10-year plan, and $2 million was funded for the structure to be reconstructed. And sometime after that, the rug got pulled out from under us, and we found out the bridge was not going to be built after all. The reason was that this bridge was not needed. It was simply called a cut through. The Greystone Bridge used to carry traffic over the Winosquatucket River, but according to the Rhode Island Department of Transportation, the closure back in July 2020 was to protect public safety after dozens of overweight trucks were crossing the bridge, which they call structurally deficient. Now, a spokesperson for DOT tells me they met with officials from both communities years ago and agreed to build a pedestrian and bike path here. However, Johnston Mayor Joseph Policina Jr. tells me that's not good enough, and after recent conversations, the future of this structure is clear. They're adamant that they are going to demolish the bridge. Many are pushing back on these plans, saying this is a main path to Route 44. The traffic is horrendous on 44, and you know, it affects everybody because you won't get out of line to go to a business. You lose your spot. It could take you another 25 minutes to get back into line. Now, a spokesperson for RIDOT tells me that Director Peter Alvedi is willing to meet with mayors from both North Providence and Johnston and discuss other options. I'm Lauren Brill, 12 News.